Hello, my name is John Thuma. Today we're going to go over Aster Analytic Learning Series and the MinHash function in Aster. So a little bit about MinHash is that it's from the genre of clustering analytics. It's inside of Aster. Background is, is that it's used for finding items that are similar across multiple groups of objects or things, people's behaviors and such. Um, use cases are document and item similarity. Basically, the ability to cluster documents and emails and phrases to remove duplication. Um, it's great for shopping cart analytics, affinity and recommendation engines, segmentation and micro-segmentation and behavioral segmentation. Fun fact is that this was invented by a gentleman called Andre Broder in 97, um, and he needed it to basically eliminate duplicate web pages in his search results. So a little bit about how MinHash works is it uses something called the Jacquard coefficient. And it's basically a mathematical measure of similarity between two sets of items. So you can see here the Jacquard coefficient is number of common elements divided by the total number of elements minus the number of common elements. So you can see here, let's give it an example, group one A, C, D, L, and N. So you can have group one here. And then you have group two, which is A, D, L, Z, and U. That's group two. And you can see that they have three items in uh, common. And that resolves to a Jacquard coefficient of 0.42. Fairly simple. Um, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually take you through an example today. We have some input data. We're going to put that into the MinHash function in Aster. And we're going to take a look at the output. And we're going to test it out and see how it works. So this is it. This is the input table, which can, is called sales fact rotate 10K. And it's consisted, it consists of these five fields. Basket items, which is a space delimited set of items purchased in a basket. Could be online, could be in a grocery store, could be you know, in an actual brick and mortar store. The customer identifier information, which is the person who made these, uh, these, be, these purchases. The basket identifier, which is the basket ID of the purchased items. And the store ID is the location where the person made the purchases. And then, of course, the date ID, which is a surrogate key representing the date of the transaction. So we select star from public sales fact rotate 10K, limit 10, and we bring back. And this is what the data looks like. You'll notice that the items are concatenated with a space delimited um, set in between. So we have item 11 to... 11, 11, 2, and 2. This is the customer ID, basket ID, store ID, date ID, etc. And this is the actual MinHash statement. This is all it takes to be able to run MinHash inside of Aster. You can see here, sales fact rotate 10K is the input table for our algorithm here. The output table is a, na a name that we gave our output. And so when you run this query, it will actually create a table called MH sales fact rotate. The ID columns and the rest of this is basically how the MinHash function works. Now, um, these items here, these, these uh, uh, predicates here, really tell MinHash how to behave with the data. And this is not a precise science. This is something you need to tweak and tune and go back and uh, really take a look and explore your data results. The idea here is, is that I don't have to spend a lot of time in code. I can test and tune and train and learn how my MinHash function works with respect to my data very easily. Some of the predicates you have to pay attention to, and we covered most of these, are really the, um, the num hash functions. Uh, the higher the number, the less and the reduce of, um, of collisions between my data sets and my clusters. My key groups, this is important, and uh, understanding the... Um, the, the, the combination of these two, so if I take 1002 divided by 6, this must resolve to an integer. And this is really important in also determining uh, how many collisions I may or may have within my infrastructure of my result. So my hash input type is integer. That's just basically the, the type of data that I'm going after. And this has to resolve to a numeric data type. Um, my min cluster size and my max cluster size is basically the size of my clusters that will come back in my result sets. Um, when I run the algorithm, I will get a result set that looks like this. And that's a successful table. 
MS, or excuse me, MH sales fact rotate was created. And that's to be expected. So when I run this, I actually take a look at the output, and this is the cluster identifier that results in. And these are the items, the basket items that are similar across my uh, across this cluster. And this is great because what I'm able to do is take this back and actually um, let's take this particular instance here, and let's take these three baskets and let's see if they do have similar items. So cut and pasted this out and I put this into a query select star from public sales fact rotate 10k which is my source where basket ID in and I took these items these baskets right here and I put them into my uh, in my in predicate there in my SQL query and as you can see here are the basket items that the this person purchased it belongs to this basket ID and this store and this date and you can see that that went through three individual users, or excuse me, buyers or people that actually made these decisions. And they, and you can see that their basket items are indeed similar. And um, this is really human behavior, um, purchasing behavior segmentation that we just accomplished. So I think it's pretty exciting. Um, if you want to do this yourself, you can run this in uh, Astra Express. Step one, I have to create the table, populate the data. I threw out some of my sample data here. You can just cut and paste that and load that up. And then I can, then you can just cut and paste this code here and you can run your minhash statement and you can actually uh, take a look at query results here by running that. So let's go ahead and take a look at real quickly just to prove out that I actually did this. So indeed this is the uh, select star and this is the actual data that came from that query here. Um, this is the actual minhash statement right here from the uh, example. You can see that this indeed did generate this cluster ID with these three baskets uh, in them. And then I went through and I tested um, the actual results of three instances. You can see here um, these baskets are indeed, they do have common elements to them. And I went through three of these sets and you can see that these three, this is from our example earlier, and then I did a, f a fourth one in here, a third one, and here we go. These are indeed um, similar types of items across these particular customers. Uh, so we could do micro segmentation based on actual human behaviors. That concludes MinHash and Aster. Have a happy, happy day.